Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to pass a security plus your first try. Um, I did it and I did it with about four, three, four months of IT experience. And prior to that three, four months, I had no experience um, whatsoever in IT, cybersecurity, anything like that. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. And I only studied for about a week and a half. Um, I was grinding during that week and a half, um, but I'm going to show you here kind of everything that I did um, from day one all the way until I took the exam and passed it. So first, we're going to start, obviously, you have the Security Plus. Um, I will say when I took it, we're on the seventh version of this exam. When I took it, we were on uh, the sixth version, so I did take the, the prior uh, version. But, I mean, the study habit, the, the whole plan is still the same, right? Um, so... We have, I mean, this is just on the CompTIA website for the Security Plus, the um, seventh version, seventh edition. Um, so it kind of just covers, you know, 12% of the exam is going to be covered with general security concepts, 22% threat vulnerabilities and mitigations, 18 security architect, um, 28 security operations, and then 20% security program management oversight. Um, so a little bit about the exam, 90 minutes, I believe it's 90 questions, yeah, maximum 90 questions with some uh, performance-based questions, PBQs, um, kind of talks about some of the skills you learn. Overall, I would say I I was in my uh, first semester, or just completed my first semester of um, my master's degree for cybersecurity, right before I had take the, taken it. I had learned a little bit during my semester, but this exam really... Um, kind of gave me knowledge about cybersecurity as a whole. It's just like very, very wide. I know you probably hear this all the time, but it's an exam that's very wide, not very deep. So you learn a lot about, or a little about a lot. Um, so I think learning that and kind of taking it early on was super beneficial. It kind of helped me through the rest of my coursework. I kind of had, you know, an idea of what was going on when stuff was talked about. Um, I do highly recommend taking it. It's also... Um, meets the DOD requirements and stuff like that. I, it's pretty much the certification that if you do not have, you won't get into, you know, it's required for um, any kind of government job, I'm pretty sure. So it's definitely a good certification to have. Um, and obviously, if you're new, it's great to just take and learn about, you know, cybersecurity concepts and theories. So first, there's a little bit about this. Um, but the first tool that I did use is the Professor Messer YouTube videos. Um, this was super, super helpful. Um, we went through, he literally covers every single topic. Um, I don't know if I could pull up the, uh, I don't know if there's like a breakdown of the exam. Um, kind of like by thing. I, there, there used to be, I'm sure there is somewhere. I'm just not entirely sure where it's at. Um, but he literally breaks it down into each little segment within each category, um, does a fantastic job. Cannot recommend this enough. Um, yeah, take notes on these. That's kind of what I did. Uh, I'll get to this last, which is kind of like a thing. I, as I went through the entire course, I was taking note or the entire videos and stuff that I was doing, you know, I was taking notes on everything and I will link this on my, um, my portfolio website so if you would like to um see this or have this for yourself it's going to be on my my website my portfolio website so you can go check that out there um but all these links this youtube link all this other stuff i'm going to link them down below the resources that i used um but i will say this was a huge resource it covers every little thing it goes into detail about everything that you need to know for the exam everything's beneficial um just make sure you're taking good notes on everything and it will definitely be a big help then moving on, I did use these and these were huge. Um, I actually would take the exam. If I got the question right, I would just note like the question and that this was the answer because obviously I thought I would know. If I wasn't 100% sure, then I would kind of jot down a note being like, this is this. Like the this is the answer to like this question or sometimes like a definition and this was like the, the definition of this word. Um, but if I didn't know the answer, I would take every single one of those, the answer choices, and I would write out in my notes what they were. So next time, if that word came up, I knew what each thing was um, and kind of helping me with 
the rest of the exam and kind of because the whole basis is like knowing acronyms knowing acronyms is huge that's a big big thing you want to know um but then besides knowing acronyms just knowing what the words are most of the time the words what they are is in the name itself um so just doing that is super super helpful but these were super helpful to me um just kind of having these and just being like okay which of the following answers can be used to describe uh, technical security controls so i would select three answers so i would select three and then i would just put like this whole thing like this and the answer and then the i would kind of take a mental note as well as also put into the notes of being like okay these aren't this because of this reason um so just kind of like outlining kind of like the uh the idea that i had and then so here you go it also covers your acronyms because they're super super big to know and also breaks down in each part of the exam to know just super helpful obviously this is all free you don't need to go spend any money for this i will say i did pay for the jason dion so many people recommended me to take these um and just purchase this this was i think when i got it, it was like 20 dollars or something like that um these were good these were really good i highly recommend them um i as you can see i didn't even finish taking them all and I wasn't scoring super, this one I scored, I think this one I may have took a second time, but um, I mean, I was scoring like 75 and, it, and it's like saying that you required 90% to pass. And obviously I wasn't getting 90%, but I still passed my security plus. Um, so this is just, you know, it kind of shows your weaknesses where you have to study more. Um, so highly recommend this if you can afford it. If not, no worries. I do think this was a huge help. This helped me majority of the time. And then between that and the videos were super helpful. Um, and then last, I just have these notes that I took. So um, anyone who wants to go check out my portfolio, this is going to be linked there. Um, I might try and link this in the description. Not entirely sure. Um, this would be the first time I've, I've had the link stuff. I'm not entirely sure how, if I could do that or whatnot, but we will see. Um, but anyway, I hope this was super helpful for you guys. Um, hopefully if I was able to help you, please let me know, you know, even if I can help one person. Um, but anyway, I'm currently studying for the PJPT. So once I finish that certification, I'm planning on taking that fairly soon. If I pass, if I fail, you're going to hear about it. And then you're going to hear my, you know, my study habits, what I did wrong, what I could have did better, um, or what I did right. So, um, Hopefully I will catch you in that one. Um, but until then, please like, subscribe. I thank you for tuning in and hopefully catch you next one. See you guys.